Hello everyone and welcome to um, my channel of Truth and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are and I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are looking into what are you resisting. So we're going to look into what you may be resisting um, that can help you kind of get through it or not resist it as much um because any place we have resistance is usually a sign that we are um usually coming from a place of fear but also there's like so much better on the other side of that so we'll be looking into that so we have three piles here to choose from we have the first pile here with the labradorite stone the second pile here with the hematite stone and the third pile here with the fluorite stone so feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so keep in mind that this is a general reading so not all the messages will resonate and that is okay just take what does and leave what doesn't do not make it fit if it doesn't fit um, i am available to do personal readings if you feel guided to get a personal reading for me that information will be down below in the description box and then i just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking sharing subscribing supporting my channel in any way you felt guided to do so i truly appreciate every single one of you so thank you all so much for your kindness your love your patience and your trust it really means a lot to me and yeah so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one and welcome to your reading if you chose the labradorite stone this is your reading for what are you resisting at the moment so definitely see not a lot but i do see some resistance here um there's a resistance to spending like taking a time out I feel like you're go 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 you're like just and I feel like you're doing things that are pre you're pretending that they're making you happy but really they're not it's like you it's like let's say your friends say like hey let's go out but really you just want to take a nap but instead of just being honest and being like hey I just want to stay in you're just like okay let's just go out like that um, so you're resisting taking care of yourself, I feel. You're resisting listening to your own guidance. You're resisting um, really just spending time with yourself. You don't really want to be that active or social right now, and that's okay. It doesn't mean anything. It just means your soul is calling for you to take some time out, so take some time for yourself. But I feel like you've been doing this a lot like you've been really like neglecting yourself or just saying yes when you really don't want to and so there's this level of deception around you and it's not like it's like you're deceiving yourself and because you're deceiving yourself you're deceiving others and I feel like the other people around you kind of feel like they know that you don't want to be around them and not because you don't like them or anything just because you rather just be doing something else or spending time with yourself but like it's like you maybe a lot of you a, like a lot of you like you and your friends are all in this deception mode like I feel like honestly I feel like there's a distraction here like you all are like I can't speak for your friends but I can speak for you but I feel like your friends are very similar like are going through the same thing so I feel like there's this level of like not wanting to speak your truth not wanting to because you're afraid of hurting someone's feelings or not wanting to see what actually is going on which is maybe you're not as stable as you are perceived or you're perceiving yourself to be with your friends or family and so you're kind of like looking for a distraction or trying to keep up this illusion that everything is good like you have money and like you can go out and you can shop and you can do all this but in reality it's like you're not as grounded you're just not grounded you're not as grounded as you as you are like you're not you're just not grounded and I feel like you're trying to put up this front like you are grounded but you're really not and I feel like your friends know this and they know this because they're also doing the same thing they're also pretending to be okay and to be like stable and to be clear and to know what's going on or just to be grounded when in reality they're just like I have no idea what's going on like they feel I feel like you all feel like your life is just kind of not as together as you would want it to be but you're both like but you all are like lying not lying but like being deceptive and being like yeah it's together yeah I have this and that going on but it's just it's not the case um <laughs> so I feel like that's a very specific message but that's what I'm picking up in terms of like what you're resisting so what you're resisting is the truth 
um, what you're resisting is also the truth that you may be jealous that maybe some of your friends can actually do this and want to go out and have money to spend on extracurricular activities and have energy and stuff like that and you're could be a little bit envious of that because you don't have that energy or you don't have the resources or you don't have the money to do that and so you're deceiving yourself and being like pretending that you do when it's actually just causing you more harm more struggle more instability if that makes sense um so there's a thing here i'm getting a lot of masculine energy but also a lot of feminine energy so there is this need to there's like a bit of you that's distorted masculine energy not a lot but it's it's distorted um and we all have masculine and feminine energies within us so i think your inner masculine is a little bit trying to control the situation but it's really you're just deceiving yourself and the people in the situation and it's just causing more chaos because the deception and envy card is basically the seven of swords and this is like a, a warning that um you're not there are people in your life who aren't what they appear to be and you are in this place where you're not being as transparent as you need to be and it's like so there's people that aren't telling you like your friends or whoever this French, I'm getting like friends, I don't know why, but there's people, your friends aren't telling you everything you need to know. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be relationship, but they're not telling you everything you need to know. Um, and so it's like, you just, there's facts missing. <laughs> like you're not seeing everything for what it is. You're like, you're definitely missing some pieces of information. You're just taking things at face value. And I feel like other people what do I want to say like this is such a very distinct energy but it's hard to put into words because it's not what it seems to be so like I'm picking up energy but it's really like it's really just like I'm picking up envy but it's really just sadness I'm picking up deception but it's really just fear does that make sense but I feel like you could be envious of people's accomplishments, but they're not really as accomplished as they seem to be. And people are envious of your accomplishments, but it's you're not as accomplished as you seem to be. Does that make sense? And I feel like there's a lot of, first of all, there's going to be a lot of sudden and unexpected changes or plans that are going to be undertaking that will not turn out the way that you want, but will also expose the truth to the situation. And um, there's like a, I usually don't pick this up but there's like a future there's going to be a future issue that spirit is really wanting you to be prepared for because it's like i'm just hearing it's better to be safe than sorry so i i don't know exactly what that means but there's going to be a situation where you are going to have to have a back need to have a backup plan like a plan b or just like a fallback strategy or something because something is not going to go the way it seems. I don't know if you're, I don't, and, and, and they're not, and they're being, the spirit's being so vague about this. So I can't even really tell you. I'm not trying to like scare you or anything. It's not a scary feeling. It's just kind of like something's going to get exposed. Like, and I feel like it's just lies are just getting exposed, like deception, like envy. Like it could just be honestly like you all just having a heart to heart moment and telling the truth about what you've been going on in your life and what your friends have been doing and just kind of letting it all air out and then like healing because I am getting this healing energy but it doesn't have to be but it's just something that needs to be exposed and needs to be um no longer hidden because this person's like taking off a mask here so about and it's I feel like it's about your material and spiritual abundance or prosperity it's like you it's like all of you maybe are like pretending to have a lot more money than you actually do or a lot more like um exposable income than you actually do it, it could just be as simple as that and then just talking about it but there is this resistance to wanting to talk about it because of fear embarrassment um stuff like that and I don't think you guys are like struggling with money but I do think there's like this thing of like overspending or trying to show off or trying to like seem that you have a lot more going on that you're more accomplished than you are so that could be something that's finally going to come to the light I am getting like this nervous energy about it because obviously like you know talking about your finances or talking about anything that you perceive to be like your security and your safety blanket and you've had others to like you know what I mean is like coming to 
is falling apart is like being exposed so there's this nervous energy it's not like uncomfortable nervous but you and also i feel like it's not it's nervous energy but you don't have to be nervous because your friends are all in the same boat or these people your community is all in the same boat like you all feel the same way so it's going to be actually really comforting to like get it off your chest and tell the truth and i feel like it's going to happen like i don't know why i'm getting tower moment but i feel like it's going to happen very like like shockingly like unexpectedly like maybe you plan to go out with your friends and then all of a sudden something happens like maybe your car breaks down or their car breaks down and then they just like pour out their guts like i am struggling right now like my car is broken down like i haven't paid my rent like all this stuff is going to come out and you all are just going to be there for each other because you're friends and it doesn't matter what you have or what you spend or you know i mean like you both you all are together a community and friends because you love each other because you share the same because you're that's your soul family you know what i mean it has nothing to do with outside appearances or outside circumstances and i think that has been a facade or some deception that you all have been holding on to for quite some time and now it's finally ending um very interesting i'm seeing here so we have here seven six then we have 24 which reduces to a six and a seven so there's like there's like some healing sixes are about healing seven is about spirituality and like true love and like soul families for me so like there's this healing of your soul family that's going on and it could be your actual family it could be your community it could be your friends doesn't matter but there's this like healing happening like sevens and sixes are very important so if you're seeing a lot of sevens a lot of sixes that means like something's about to break apart to heal something's about to come together break apart and come together and heal in a better way because there's this need for this rest and this like time out and this just kind of like you know allowing things to happen the way they need to happen like there's no more resistance to it there's no more resistance to you pretending that you're not pretending that you're grounded like or pretending that you're stable pretending that you have everything together pretending that you feel confident it's like all of that is gonna come out in the light so it's like you can't resist that any longer this is a very specific message so this is only gonna resonate with some of you and that's okay but this is what i'm picking up and like there's this with this material and spiritual prosperity again this is like peaceful tranquil time and like problems just disappear like but in order to in order for them to disappear you have to see them you can't deceive yourself and just pretend they don't exist so i definitely feel like there's gonna be this sudden like once you see it the sudden like insight the sudden flash of like inspiration or the sudden like you know what to do i also feel like you could get like unexpected help out of the blue like something unexpected um i also feel like this has to do with like a common goal and like success like you all have a common goal you all have this like wanting to be and the success like wanting to have success but maybe fearing like there's such a big fear here this is such weird but this is such a weird energy it's like success but like not the success that you thought it was going to be but then you end up getting the success that you ended up wanting to begin with so it's like because you heal something then you end up getting the material and spiritual prosperity does that make sense because you like no longer deceiving yourselves about like how who you are or what you're doing or how you're feeling or your accomplishments or anything like that there's like a there's like a energy here of coming into balance coming into harmony with your friends with your community with your physical being and your spiritual existence and i feel like there's this practice there's going to be this practice of giving and receiving within your community that will bring you like true riches what it re means to really be true which is which to what it means to really be true what it means to really be abundant and prosperous which is having a strong group of people around you that support you and love you no matter what and so i feel like there's this there's gonna be this act of kindness there's going to be this like wanting to practice generosity and gratitude and compassion and like prosper in all areas of your life. Like there's just going to be this like distinct knowledge that this isn't right and I want to do something different. I can no longer keep this facade up, this deception up. I can no longer wear this mask anymore. Like I have to tell the truth. I have to be honest. And it doesn't have to be with friends. It could be family or something like that. But I'm just getting like a, gr a group of people. Um that you just have to be honest with. You can no longer resist not telling them the truth about your situation, about how you're feeling, about your success, maybe about you maybe losing a job or, and then pretending that you've been having a job for all this time and you really lost your job like six months ago or something or something like that. There's like this, and then your friends are gonna be like, oh my God, I also lost my job. I didn't wanna say anything because this, this, and this. Like something like that is gonna happen and you're gonna see like the true 
meaning of wealth, the true meaning of prosperity through this like heart to heart, through this like taking off the mask, through this telling the truth and no longer lying, no longer lying to your friends or to yourself. So yeah, so with 24 taking off the I'm taking off the what jar time for a nap okay so time for a nap talks about like I said rest rejuvenation renewal no like non-action and just allowing things to happen the way that they need to happen so again there's gonna be this like respite I feel there's gonna be this taking a time out taking a step away and like going into this place where you're allowing yourself to be free and your goals and your and your desires to just take form in whatever shape and form they want. You're not, you like can no longer keep up this facade. I'm just seeing a big facade and you can no longer keep it up. You're just gonna allow things to like just do what they do. So rest, detachment, neutrality is really important. I feel like if your mind has been overly busy, it's been blocking you from your inner wisdom and you need to take a step back and take a seat. I feel like you've been resisting this. You've been resisting just allowing things to go. With the emperor here in reverse, this is like an over control. You've been like over controlling your whole life in this situation. And now I feel like you're allowing yourself to kind of not no longer do that. You're willing to let your dreams surface and ideas flow through you and like without any without forcing a conscious direction to them without like and just observing them without engaging with them if that makes sense it's like you don't want to make any plans you just kind of want to be you just kind of want to do things and I feel like you've been forcing yourself to make plans or to have a plan or do something and it's not working anymore because it's just making you feel more unstable um, or more unstable it's like you're just wanting to relax and just be with yourself just be with your friends and just be honest and be transparent and just allow things to flow naturally it's like you no longer want to force anything patience is really important right now especially when it comes to your heart's desire but it's time for you to withdraw from action right now and just give something a rest just let it go because it's like you're overly busy and you're overly distracting yourself because you don't want to be honest and be like I have no idea what I'm doing I'm trying to over control I'm scared that things are going to fall apart I'm scared I'm not going to have this this and this and that's the truth and so you're just kind of like so you're it's almost like your plans are going to be put on ice but because once you surrender and allow it to just take its own form that's when like you'll get what you want does that make sense because you're trying to like control it too much that's why it's not it's just restricted restricted energy the more that you can let go and just let god and let the universe do its thing the more that you'll get more than what you want more of this material and spiritual prosperity in different forms though it could be in a sense of like where you're finally feeling more connected to your community and more connected to your friends, more connected to your family or something because you're no longer trying to control the outcome. You're no longer trying to make things happen. You're just allowing the universe to make it happen because again, you can no longer hold up or, you know, hold up this facade. So epiphanies are going to come to you. And I feel like the more that you take your focus off your to-do list and allow yourself to rest and just know that the universe has you and is going to be okay and take inspired action instead of action out of fear or control, the more that things will work in your favor. So that is what I see for you guys. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation. I feel like this was a very specific message, but um, feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, pile two and welcome to your reading. If you chose the hematite stone, this is your reading for what you, what are you resisting? So, okay. I feel like I have to breathe, so um, just tuning into your energy here. It's actually really heavy um, and overwhelming. I'm getting a lot of frustration and sadness, um, but I'm also feeling like you're resisting this because you don't want to feel this way. There's basically what you're resisting is your spiritual awakening and your new beginning, your new beginning in your spiritual awakening <laughs> your connection to spirit um you are resisting and yeah you're definitely going through a spiritual awakening and you are being highly triggered right now with like on every level family friends you especially with family um there's a lot of trauma i feel like or just a lot of triggers within you that are being like touched on right now and 
you're doing your best to handle it but there is some resistance to it because these triggers run very deep like family like childhood and um it's really triggering your confidence your self-esteem your outlook your vision on life on family um i'm hearing like will i ever speak to my family again will i ever talk to my siblings again will i ever have my own family will i ever you know feel connected to my family members again there's a lot of um like will i like will i ever like will i ever i just keep hearing that and it's because there's this pain within you that feels so alone and so abandoned and so rejected that but it's being triggered because it needs to come up and it needs to be felt and it needs to be seen but you're afraid to feel it and see it because it is very very painful so let's just take a deep breath if this resonates with you and just kind of tell yourself that it's okay to feel what you feel and that you have to allow yourself to feel it to go through it so you can overcome it because you can't heal what you don't feel and you have to feel it and it doesn't matter how long it takes you to feel it but you it has to be felt because it is here like it's like literally on the surface here and on the other side of this is this new beginning is this door to spirit it's like you're no longer attaching yourself to labels to human constructs of like this is my family so i have to do this this is my parents so i have to do this my parents said i should do this this and this you know in my childhood i did this this and this this is how i was raised so this is how i have to continue living like all of that is falling apart and that's painful because that's all you know and that's all that has been for you up until this point but that's not working for you anymore which is why it's so painful because it wasn't even coming from a good place anyways it wasn't even coming from a loving place it was just coming from a place of control not that your family or society is controlling but a lot of the times we don't even ask ourselves why we're doing something or what this is or why we have to do this this and this just because it means this it's a lot of it is a lot of control and a lot of fear and a lot of just not knowing and just being unconscious you are becoming conscious you are becoming aware you are becoming seen like spirit is seeing you you are seeing spirit i feel like you've been getting a lot of intuitive dreams a lot of intuitive signs even a lot of intuitive nudges and messages from people books places that are telling you you don't have to live this way anymore you don't have to like be of the world you know be in the world but not of it you don't have to do what everyone else is doing you don't have to believe what everyone else is believing and there's this thing of being judged feeling judged by your family and peers and community there's this thing of feeling seen like a weirdo or outcast or whatever the case may be and you're resisting feeling that instead of just feeling it and because you're resisting it it's just causing more triggers it's just causing more tr or more stuff to come up which is good but you keep resisting it which is it's just sitting there so it's like you could be doing like um maybe drinking a lot more or sleeping a lot more or indulging in like unhealthy behaviors or coping mechanisms just to kind of cope with this but it's not even helping anymore you're not even coping it's it's just it's still there like the pain is still there and it's still there because you have to see it now you can no longer ignore it you can no longer ignore or repress what your parents did to you how you grew up in your childhood um you know what your grandparents told you like anything like that you can no longer like repress any of that anymore it just needs to be felt but when you feel it you will have such an like coming to jesus god the universe you will just have this like enlightenment moment where you will just feel so much more free and so much more connected to spirit and source of like what love really is what unconditional love is because so far you've been living a very conditional life if you do this you get that if you don't do this you don't get that and that's no way to live that's how we all have been brought up and taught and that's not even the reality or the truth of anything there's no such thing as reality as well but that's another topic for another day but like because there's nothing realistic about living on this on a rock in the middle of nowhere with a, do you know what i mean like if you really think about it but anyways it's like you're learning all of that and it's just causing a lot of pain because you just feel like what you've been taught has been a lie so you're still in this place of like victim and blame mode, which is fair. 
feel it just allow it to overcome you just allow it to wash over you because once you feel it it'll just go away like it may take a minute an hour a day to feel it and just accept it and just surrender to it but then one minute you'll just be like I don't feel it anymore I don't feel a thing anymore it's because you felt it and it just kind of went through you instead of you like pushing it down ignoring it keeping it on the back burner you're you're just feeling you're just feeling your feelings and you're not even your feelings they're just it's just something else they're just feelings you know what I mean but you've attached yourself to your feelings to the point where it's like you're not your feelings you know just because you like let's say you like you just you know hate your mom for doing what they did to you in your childhood that's okay you maybe you just need to hate your mom for a while you know what I mean maybe you just need to like not talk to your mom it will pass you know it's just need to be felt because your inner child is just like I'm angry I'm upset I'm hurt because every time we do this you neglect me every time we go here I feel unheard unseen and you are not paying attention to you and you're not seeing yourself and you're not hearing yourself because you're just so focused on like pleasing your parents pleasing this person pleasing your family members that you're neglecting your inner child which already feel feels neglected because your parents did that to you so it's just like this cycle that needs to end it's like you're no longer wanting to keep tradition alive or like spend time with your family when you really don't because your inner child's like i can't do that anymore until you see me until you hear me until you feel me I can't spend time with them and that's okay and like I said it won't be forever but right now in this moment I think it's really really important for you to feel your feelings and to feel what you feel and without judgment without um because I just feel like this strong judgment with this king of cups and you're judging yourself for feeling this way you're judging yourself for thinking these thoughts and they're not your thoughts they're not your feelings they're just feelings they're just thoughts that will come and go honestly like any thought and any feeling it's like you have to kind of just detach yourself from your feelings detach yourself from your body and detach yourself from your your circumstances your family a little bit here and see things through the eyes of love which is basically spirit through the eyes of source like your true nature and just allow it to pass you're like the space around the feelings you're the space around your thoughts you're not your thoughts you're not your feelings your thoughts and feelings change all the time you know so there's this importance of just allowing this to just allowing yourself to feel and just think what you need to think and just get it all out because it needs to get out anyways the more I talk about this the more I feel a lot calmer so I definitely feel like this is something that's going to help you that's something that it's 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 already dissipating a little bit because I was feeling so like heavy and the more that I'm saying this the more that I'm just like I feel lighter I feel better you know I I feel like I'm getting back to myself it it will take time there's no rush it will take consistent effort and practice but the more that you start this I feel like it will really really benefit you so you're definitely resisting a lot of like truths and feelings that you don't want to feel because they're painful and with this um door to spirit again spiritual awakenings this is an expansive energetic energy i definitely feel like once you kind of sit with yourself surrender to the fact that you hate your family or that you you know hate's a strong word but it's just like if you feel it you feel it and just allow yourself to just be mad at your family be mad at your parents be mad at your childhood and just see like my childhood sucked it wasn't as great as you know I thought it was it really hurt me it really did this I really felt this way I really felt unheard unseen the more that you can do that the more that you bring awareness to it and the more that you just allow it to be and it will just fall off of you and this is where your new beginnings originate because there are a lot of spirit guides and light guiding you through this you're not alone Um, you're not gonna be alone you're not alone I feel like that's something that's also like triggering you is that you feel like you're going to be alone if you like don't conform or if you don't people please or if you don't do something when really you already feel alone because you're neglecting yourself and you're not being paying attention to yourself you're not allowing yourself to feel what you feel to feel the feelings and just move past it so there's this like spirit is definitely leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity which is the source of all true value and power which is your spirit which is your soul um i feel like there's a lot of unlimited potential and there's a lot of changes that are going to happen here and you're gonna reach this deep in this deep you're gonna reach this deep place of your being at the core of your being and you're gonna like 
increase your powers and your spiritual gifts you're a very spiritual and powerful person and i feel like um you're gonna deepen this connection with you in the spirit world this is all happening for a reason by the way you're all being triggered and being you're being triggered and disconnected from your family and being detached from your family and feeling these feelings because spirit wants you to connect to it connect to source connect to yourself connect to the universe first and foremost make that your true purpose make that the number one priority instead of your family and your beings and your family and your you know your friends and stuff like that your your one true purpose and priority should be your connection to source and spirit your soul and i feel like when you do this when you realize this you're going to become way more intuitive and way more aware of spirit's presence in your life like for real for real you're going to be more powerful you're going to have healing abilities you're going to like open up to very unexpected guidance and inspiration that spirit has been trying to get you to see and you're just going to open up to the magic and power of your true identity, which is, has nothing to do with your family, has nothing to do with your feelings, has nothing to do with your thoughts, because that's not your true identity. You don't take any of that with you when you leave this earth. All you take is your soul, your spirit, and that is your true identity. So it's like connecting to that and releasing everything else, and that is painful, and that is difficult when you've been told that you are these things. You are your feelings, your thoughts, your mind, your body. You're none of that, because you don't take any of that with you. Just keep that in mind when you're going through this process and I feel like spirit is really going to help you like honestly if you do this when I tell you you're going to be so surprised by just allowing yourself to feel how much freer you're going to feel once you just feel it and it's just going to go away and you're just going to be like okay like I felt so much pain and angst five minutes ago and now I feel freer than a bird like I feel like I could like literally run a marathon or I feel like I can do anything I want it's just because it needs to be purged out of you or more like purged into your source but like more like it's just aspects that you have identified as you leaving you leaving leaving your true like leaving the space that is you because all you are is space you just are you're just this energetic infinite source of energy and light and space and you're just allowing your human identity to fall off of you and not be attached to it but also love it because you are love you know you are source like you can love can you love your negative feelings that you have for your parents can you love your negative feelings that you have for the world and just accept it and love doesn't mean like oh my god i'm so it just means it's more like of an acceptance and just appreciating for what it is but saying like that's not the true me that's not my true self you know those are just thoughts that don't even belong to me that don't even belong to any of us they're just thoughts that are out there thoughts are energy feelings are energy that you can let go and just allow yourself to be more free than you ever thought was possible by just detaching from yourself and detaching from these constructs that we've been told are us if that makes sense this is very deep message i don't know why i'm doing this but i feel like someone needs to hear this so we also have financial and material changes which is a number five this also speaks about i feel like i think this is the in traditional tarot um the five of pentacles i'm assuming i'm not 100 percent sure but this is about like there's going to be changes in your physical um reality changes in your finances changes in your material changes and material changes changes in your abundance your financial your your stability your security all of that is leaving because spirit is wanting you to really focus on your true identity you are materially abundant you are financially secure you are materially secure you are your home you are everything that you wanted you are oneness with everything all of this other stuff doesn't even really exist it's not even real it's just a construct it's just how our minds perceive things and like put molecules together to make it seem like something but really nothing exists like you are everything and everything is you so there's no need to like again detach i mean there's a need to like detach from like the constructs of what you see and really like meditate connect to spirit connect um connect to source because this is like really really big stuff really really important stuff and i feel like this is something where you may be confused about what's happening this is what's happening you're just 
losing your identity, which is not really your identity. You've just adopted this identity and you're losing this adoptive identity that you are your parents' kid. You are this human that does this, this, and this. You are this feeling. You are this thought. You are this job. You are this amount of money. You are this financial situation. You're not any of that. You just are. You're oneness with everything. You just are everything. You're this space that holds all of this. You're not those things. So detaching is very difficult not impossible but it does come with such great rewards that when you detach and just know that you're not any of this but you're everything around it and you're everything encompassing it you get what you want you know what i mean and and that's even if you want something because once you detach you will find that you don't even want what you thought you wanted but you'll get it you know what i mean but you'll get it in a place where you appreciate it where you're just like of course i got it because i'm one of course i got it because i am love of course i got it because i am not just this one thing you will not attach yourself to it attach your identity to it because that's not who you really are you're everything around it and everything just everything you're just everything you can have everything um but the more that you detach you won't want anything and that's when you'll get it see that's the trick um but it's like it's like this whole like spiritual awakening this whole like new beginning of like seeing yourself as source seeing yourself as the number one source in your life seeing yourself as like the number one security financial security you're just seeing yourself differently and with the to be fair card in reverse this speaks about well first of all to be fair speaks about balance and justice and the law of cause and effect but when it's in reverse it speaks about injustice it speaks about an um an injustice in part of your life it speaks about certain things that you have told yourself define your experience but really don't again this is about attaching yourself to experiences that aren't really your experiences and you just attached yourself to it you've just adopted that as your experience and when really it's just an experience that you experience it's not your experience you know what I mean it's more like seeing things from that light and I feel like there's this like observer in you that wants to observe and just address things fairly um I feel like there's like this slight like you feel personally slighted you feel like there's like this victim mentality which is fair what happens when you feel triggered and stuff like that and all of that is going to come up for you to release and see yourself as for the truth of who you are which is you're not a victim you are a human first of all you are a spiritual being first and foremost living a human experience and you're just experiencing life don't get so attached to I went through this but you don't know my circumstances and I go through this like we all go through it's just life it's just experience and it doesn't it, that's not who you are because you don't take any of that with you when you leave you're just experiencing life and know that the power within you is so bright and surges through you all the time that you have the ability to stand up for yourself you have the ability to choose how you want to live your life how you want to see life even if other people don't agree with you you have this ability to be an advocate for others who are less fortunate who also think this way but may be scared to do something about it who also feel this way but also don't know which way to turn it's like you choose your cause and you commit to it because you can make a difference and you're realizing that you can make a difference in people's lives just by living by example just by doing this just by just by living your life to your true identity and like every situation and this situation will be resolved just fyi this won't be forever but right now you're gonna have to go through this because spirit is trying to get you to see your true power to tr see who you truly are and your family situation your financial situation everything will be resolved once you do that it's an all resolved for the highest good of all concerned as long as you're acting through kindness empathy and courage so this is going to take a lot of empathy a lot of compassion a lot of courage for yourself first and foremost before you have that for other people you have to have it for yourself because i'm getting like strong inner child wounds and family wounds here that you need to pay attention to yourself first and foremost and pour into yourself let this love begin card like start with you you have to start with you you set the tone for your relationships with other people and even though you may have experienced a lot of lack of love a lot of unfairness a lot of control and fear in your life you can take your power back by realizing that that's not true that's just something you experience it, the more that you can sit with it and accept it and surrender to it you will learn to appreciate it and be like okay well that taught me that i have the power that i am loved because i come from love i am infinite being source of light and love like that is who i am in truth that is where i will return to that is where i came from even though i came through you know 
an individual or, you know, through these human beings doesn't mean I have to attach myself to them. Doesn't mean that they own me. Doesn't mean that they, you know, that I am their property or they have control over me. Like I am my own source. I am my own light. I am my own being. And also when you leave, you want to remember these people anyways. So it doesn't even matter. Like, and you'll become like so much like you'll back to your true original self that you'll just see them in light. Like you'll see them as their true self, which is they are light too. They are source and infinite being of love and light as well, but they just may not be acting from it. You get the opportunity to act from it. You know, we all have lightness and darkness within, but it's what you choose to act on. It's what you choose to feed. So you're choosing to like feed that or you're resisting that, but I feel like you're going to be able to choose it maybe once you hear this message because this is something that you're resisting and I see why because it's painful but you can do it and I feel like spirit is with you and is guiding you to do this whether you like it or not anyways um but know that you have the strength and power to do this because they're trying to get you to see your true identity for what it really is so I'm gonna leave it here because this was really deep but I hope this helped and I hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. Um, if you chose the fluorite crystal, this is your reading for what um, What are you resisting at the moment? Okay. <sighs> there's a lot coming up here. I feel like there's a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions. I'm also feeling that there's a lot of fear here. Um, this is in regards to a relationship. Um, you're resisting some type of relationship and this is always in reflection to the relationship we have within ourselves so definitely feel like you are resisting a more intimate relationship with yourself a more harmonious relationship with yourself and it's affecting a very significant soulmate relationship that you have with someone else or just someone that you have shared very deep spiritual bond with there's potential here to rebuild a relationship there's potential here to grow to like have a new foundation with someone but you are resisting it out of fear because it will require you to be intimate it will require and not like just sexually intimate because for the sacral chakra here but it will require you to be emotionally honest emotionally intimate it will require you to really know yourself and to really speak your truth your authenticity from a heartfelt place and to really pick and choose what you want it's like you're afraid to choose this because you are afraid to be honest or to expose yourself or to it's like this fear of intimacy this fear of commitment um that i'm picking up strongly so you're resisting commitment you're resisting intimacy with yourself first and foremost but also with this other person so this harmony card flew out and it flew out in reverse and usually i don't take this particular deck in reverse but spirit was just like no it needs to be in reverse so the harmony this harmony card is number six it is equivalent to the lovers card in traditional tarot and this card signifies that you have a deep spiritual connection with someone that is trying to manifest for you in the future um but there's a blockage here there's this like it's it's almost like there's this like blockage of the heart there's this it's like it's like you see this relationship but not in its entirety it's like this relationship has the potential to make you really happy and stable and it has potential to be stable and secure and happy make you happy um and to, for you to be really enjoy like just enjoy each other but you are having a hard time seeing it in that light and it has to do with how you're seeing yourself right now um it's like i just keep getting this wants to manifest this wants to come in for you but and it doesn't have to be a past person it could just be a new person wanting to come in but there's a blockage here because maybe you are still confused about what you want or what love is or and it's you're not confused i feel like you definitely know what you want but you're afraid you won't get it from this person or you're afraid you just won't get it at all or you're afraid it it will be hard or it will be tough or you'll have to like tell your person about your trauma or tell your person there's like this fear about really truly connecting and like 
sharing your soul with another person and this usually stems from when we're not truly connecting to ourselves and we're not sharing our soul with ourselves it's like when you're just keeping things hidden from you from yourself or you're keeping things repressed from yourself because you don't want to feel it because you're embarrassed or because it's painful or whatever the case may be the more that you can truly like connect to yourself and really be honest with yourself the more that this relationship will manifest in the physical and you won't be so scared so there's a really strong message here about really like choosing yourself right now choosing to connect and have harmony within yourself um because whatever you are calling in if you're calling in this person back or just this new relationship it's coming for you but there's this like the seven of cups is just like this like all these ideas and some of them are helpful some of them are not some of them are this and some of them are that but there's just one particular cup that you really want which is harmony which is a soulmate relationship which is a partnership which is to build with someone which is truly to connect with someone but in order to do that you have to do that be that for yourself if that makes sense so there's this like it's time for you to make choices in certain relationships what relationships are helpful to you what relationships are not it could be the case that there's a relationship that's no longer serving you but because you're afraid of being alone or because you're afraid that it will and i don't feel like this is for a lot of you this is like for maybe five or ten percent of you um because you're afraid that this is as best as good as it's gonna get you're you're kind of just holding yourself back like settling i'm picking that up and again this is like for a very small few of you you're settling somewhere that you don't need to settle because there's a better relationship on the horizon for you. But in order to see that, you have to have a better relationship with yourself. You have to tell yourself that you deserve better, that you deserve commitment and, and intimacy and true love and friendship and build those blocks with yourself and really truly connect and commit to yourself. It's like, you know, this is really just saying the bonds you form with others are really just about you, even in the most difficult situations. And I do feel like you're going through a very difficult situation right now. There are mirrors to you. It's always reflecting back what you need to see or what you're not seeing within yourself. Like, what are you learning from this non-harmonious relationship? Like, what new qualities do you want to have in a relationship? What qualities do you admire in a relationship? Um, is this relationship for your highest if you're in a situation or relationship with someone? And what, and, and, and if that's the case, can you make it stronger? Do you want to make it stronger? What are you teaching each other? What are you discovering? Like, I feel like, is this person empowering you and encouraging you to be all that you can be? If you want that, are you doing that for yourself? You know, within every relationship, there's a lesson. And I feel like, there's one that you still need to learn. There's something you still need to learn within this connection that you may be avoiding because you're scared, because you fear of being alone or you fear of truly being vulnerable with this person. And it's really, you're just scared of being with yourself and being vulnerable with yourself in all honesty. So that's something that you really need to look into and really just spend time with yourself and really just ask yourself, you know, questions. Um, because there's something to be built here and you can rebuild something but i just get this like resistance such a heavy resistance and it's really coming from my sacral and my solar plexus because you're just afraid to tell this person how you really feel what you're feeling what you've been through what you've gone through in relationships and it's like you're afraid to tell yourself this fear you're afraid to like really sit with this fear with yourself and really tell yourself like I've been hurt, I've been abandoned. My parents abandoned me, so I'm afraid that I will be abandoned by this person, whether this is a past person or a future person, but there's someone significant in your life or in just your energetic field that wants to come in and build something stronger with you. But I think you may have your idea set on what you want this to be, and that could be causing a blockage as well, instead of just allowing it to be what it is. Maybe the soulmate person that you are in love with you're really not in love with you know maybe you just love the fact that they gave you attention that they were there for you when you needed them and now that it's kind of blocked right now because that wasn't the whole purpose of them coming into your life the purpose of them coming into your life was to help you see you for who you really are and see your wounds and see your traumas and see your triggers and really like love them and 
be in harmony with them and notice them and know that it's okay to feel wounded or triggered it's okay that to feel abandoned it's okay to feel all these feelings it doesn't make you any less lovable you're not your feelings you're not your thoughts you're just the space around them in honesty your true identity is you are love you are love like you come from love that's where you return to you're an infinite infinite source of love light and you're just this love light being and you're not these experiences you're not abandonment it wounds you're not your trauma you're not any of this and it's about just accepting that letting those stories go letting that identity go because you're tying yourself to an identity that's no longer serving you especially when it comes to this relationship and i'm not saying that this person is not supposed to be like your lover or anything but i am seeing that there's a potential to build a better relationship than what you had anticipated with this person it could be a very strong friendship it could be this person is meant to be your best friend is meant to be a person to help guide you a teacher of uh, just someone maybe other than love you know or just you allowing yourself to see this person other than the one true love because this person is more than that you are one true love you are your true love like this person is showing you that through triggers through trump through just triggering you through just mirroring you and we do have the magician and the mirror here but again it's in reverse see so it's like you're not seeing this person for who you really are and honestly i'm just realizing now that this is my pile so i am with you here <laughs> Um, I am going through the same thing. So, um, yeah, this is actually very difficult. It's a very difficult situation if you resonate with this. It's very hard to see someone as something else. It's very hard to, when you've already maybe planned or made up your mind that this is your one true love. And I'm not saying this person isn't, but maybe it's just not in the way that you had thought it would be. You know, maybe you're just not meant to like be together in a romantic setting or like be in this like serious relationship. Maybe this person's just meant to be a friend and a confidant and someone to teach you. And you both teach each other because I feel like this person feels the same way. Um, but you both are just meant to teach each other a lot of lessons and grow and, and teach each other, how, re remind each other who you really are in truth, which is love, which is infinite source of light and love. And that's difficult because it's like you've had your heart set on this person but that doesn't mean this person's not meant to be in your life or anything because I definitely feel like this person's meant to be in your life I feel like this person's still energetically you're like you're attached to this person or not attached well you could be attached because it is blocked and attachment is not love attachment is fear attachment is control attachment is wounds unconditional love is unconditional love meaning you're you love this person this person loves you no matter what in this lifetime in this form and when you both transition to your true identity your true form like you will always love each other that is the truth like love is the truth you both have that same light in you everything else your human construct your human identity is an attachment especially when it was maybe conditioned or programmed in a way where it was based off fear and control and um just a lot of pain which is inexperience you know but it's nothing to tie yourself to because that's not your true identity your true identity is love so it's about seeing yourself as love maybe appreciating this relationship for being that mirror to you of like where you didn't love yourself where you didn't truly have harmony within yourself where you truly didn't see yourself in your wounds but this person showed you them and it was painful and it was uncomfortable and it was like very uncomfortable to sit with at times but you always learned from it you always got through it you always saw yourself you always got through the other end like you saw the light at the tunnel this is why you can't let go of this person this is why this person like you think about them a lot or you dream about them a lot or like you know you'll be you'll be so angry with them but then after you sit with it and really heal and really sit with yourself and really be honest with yourself then you start have this level of appreciation and love for them and you want to talk to them again it's like this back and forth and i feel like your per this person goes through the same thing with you and it's really hard because i feel like you both want to like put it in a box or like put it in a have a certain label on it but I, this is a labelless relationship like i feel like this relationship will never have a label besides just you both are love because that is your true identity and love shines a light on things that sometimes you don't want to see but you have to see because it is it's love it's love it's all love 
you know what I mean? It's all just a part of the human experience. And it's all just what I wanted to say there was like shining a light on your shadow aspects and having love for your shadow aspects because it is it is something that we all carry. We all carry light and dark within us, but that doesn't mean that we have to act on the darkness, but the light will shine on the darkness for for you to see it, for you to transmute it and alchemize it and love it and know that and be in harmony with it, like I was saying. So this is a very like serious, very um, spiritual situation, a very deep spiritual bond that I don't even think, well, I'm not going to say that, but like right now, I feel like it's difficult for your mind to grasp because it's so spiritual and it doesn't fit in any situation and there's no advice you can get on it and there's no like one person to tell you what to do and there's nothing that you just have to feel it and you just have to go through it and you just have to realize like this person you both are in each other's life to teach each other a lesson to help each other grow and it is uncomfortable but it is very rewarding and it is worth it and it is helping you build a better foundation with yourself and with each other the more that you can be honest the more that you can be transparent with yourself the more that you are able to let go of your fear of abandonments and really enjoy being with yourself and the same with this person because then you can enjoy being together without having to make it something that it may be not supposed to you know without you having to label it without you having to, to to tie it to something or fit it in a box it's not it's not gonna fit in a box it's not meant to be labeled it's not meant to do that it's meant to teach you about your true identity and what love really is which is you you are love so the magician in the mirror being in reverse this is about knowing and using your true power and since it's in reverse this is saying you're not using your true power you may know it but you're not using it and when this card shows up it's basically warning you that you're missing a great opportunity here to truly grow and expand and build a better you and not build a better you but really like come home to you remember who you are and build a better foundation for who you really are in truth basically um build a foundation of love not a foundation of fear and the time is right for you to do this but you're not taking advantage of this cycle right now maybe of this like opportunity you have the power to transform things for yourself you and this person but more let's just focus on you you have the power to transform things for yourself to create something new to build a new home to get a new home to build a business to have a family to put to go in the direction that you want to go in for your life but you may again are you're resisting it and because you don't believe or maybe you're even in disbelief that you have this ability, that you have this power, that this connection is truly this important, that it's capable of achieving great success, but just not in the way that you have planned. So you have this unlimited power within you. And it's basically saying, like, wake up to your power. Like, you have been maybe getting misinformation or perceiving limitations that are lingering from a place of fear or doubt or just a past that is no longer sustainable is no longer true to you is no longer helping you out and your life is mirroring this and it's reflecting your inner energy and your inner energy right now is like not in harmony not in connection you have the ability to change that though but you have to open up yourself to the complete truth of your wisdom of your talents of the truth of who you are of your abilities and take a risk of believing in yourself the more that you believe in yourself, the more that you'll act from a place of love because you are love and the more that you'll be able to see and not like see with your eyes, but like intuitively see that this connection is helpful. This connection has a purpose. It's just not the purpose you think it has. Very twin flame vibes. I'm not going to lie. If you it, like resonate with that label and even that me saying that is like forget the label because i feel like the label lately has been really affecting you and you've it's been more confusing to you because maybe you're receiving misinformation and maybe it's just oh it's okay to not have a label it's okay to not label something and i feel like that could be a new thing for you but i feel like your soul is like stop labeling anything your soul doesn't have a label it's your soul it's just it's it's energy it's source it's it's just infinite light being like it it's it just is you just are you know you don't have to do something you're just you are 
space you are everything encompassing it and i feel like it's just spirit is just really asking you to dive deep right now and find that confidence and courage within you to make the most of this cycle right that you're going through right now because you have everything that you need and you are the unlimited force of the universe and you have the unlimited force of the universe at your disposal and it's waiting for you to recognize it and ignite it and ignite your powers that are eternally yours that have been yours for lifetimes i feel like this is a situation you have had in a past life honestly with this person you have shared a past life with this person and you have to know that you have all the power you need to create the destiny that you desire magic happens when you live in the consciousness and when you live in consciousness and when you like live in your eternal truth of like you are a light being you are a you are source you are light you are powerful you are infinite like infinite space infinite love like you are all of that once you live from that truth and you start acting from that place you will see this whole situation change you will see this whole relationship change and to the point like the more that you detach from wanting this to be a certain way because you're detaching from your like these like identity constructs that have been like placed upon you or that you've just adopted for whatever reason the more that you will just like it'll just all come together without you having to ask but you're just in your place of being you're just being your true self which is love light like you know all oneness you're just living from that place and you will start to see everything just fall into place like you have beautiful cards here the three of wands the four of wands that's manifesting your true power your true potential that is harmony that is balance that is um stability that is you know with building blocks here number 28 you are really like about to come into this like place where you are just building a strong foundation for yourself you have everything you need to cultivate the life that you want so this is a time for you to focus your needs on foundation building which is basically the foundation you have for yourself which is basically yourself self-work self-love um and you will see it like also working on your i'm getting like values and ethics and morals and your core beliefs and does this align with your integrity and choosing things that align with your integrity and your integrity is your true identity which is love which is light so does this align with love with light if not first you have to get into that space then you don't even have to do anything your soul will just take you to things that align with love and light and sometimes you'll come across things that aren't don't feel like that energy that means that's not for you it's like you're just experiencing life where your soul is leading you and guiding you down this road let's just say and you come across a person that empowers you that makes you feel that sees your light that sees your soul not your egoic self not your identity but not your human identity but sees your your soul that is love that is light that is something that brings harmony now let's say you meet another person that just sees your identity and sees like okay like this person's just has a lot of money or any human like egoic thing like this person sees your ego and it will it, it will fulfill you for like a second but it won't last because it's not coming from a soul place it's not coming from your core belief your true identity your it's not coming from your soul it's coming from your human like identity and you're not your human identity because you don't take that with you when you leave you go back to source you go back to just your infinite being of yourself so wow this is really deep okay so like these past two um piles have been really deep but anyways so there is a need for like solid grounding right now and you are being asked to make changes and to not resist these changes that will affect everything in a positive way because your destiny is truly remarkable and it's a beautiful design and everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen everything is coming together the way it's supposed to come together i feel like you've had like a falling out with someone important to you um someone that you loved you still love them obviously but right now you're finding it difficult you're confused and whether you love them or not because they're not showing up they're not um reflecting your ego or maybe they are reflecting your ego but now you're not as attached to your ego as you thought you were you know you're you're seeing this person as reflecting as 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 reflecting a lot of disharmony and you're not in disharmony it's just you're not your ego you're like you're it's like you're aware but you're not aware that you're not your ego if that makes sense i know that was confusing it's like 
you know you're more than your human identity and this person keeps reflecting your human identity because it needs to fall off because it needs to like die because your your old way of identifying yourself is dying and you're doing this to this person as well so you know your person is going through like an ego death i guess you could say um of like false identity and it's like this is happening for you both to reflect your soul to both to reflect your light your true identity your true being and which is your which is you know your light you are source you are infinite abundant being so things are just dying right now and not things but like your human identity is dying that's why it's so painful and confusing and but your light is being exposed and it's being exposed so you can build from your light build from your true identity not from your ego anymore um you are and if this is something where you're like letting this person go because they're not reflecting your light or not not reflecting light because they're just you just feel like this person is not your not your highest let's just say you know you don't feel in harmony with this person even when you're in harmony with yourself and you maybe talk to this person or see this person you still don't it's not reflecting you know this person is still reflecting ego stuff which is fine it's just showing you that you still have some stuff to release but you still don't feel like you're in harmony with this person there's someone new coming into your life as well um once you decide that this is not for your highest if that makes sense i feel like i really butchered that sentence but i think you understand what i'm saying and there's going to be a relationship that's long standing for you that um but a lot of you i feel like this is just repairing a relationship honestly but it's going to be different for everyone but you and this person are stronger and wiser and more powerful together than apart let's just i'm just going to say it um for most of you like you're you're very powerful beings you're very powerful like you're like star seeds light workers like you have a lot of power and you're more you're better together than apart and i feel like that's a hard concept for you to understand um because it's just been so difficult it's been, it's just been so challenging but through those like i said through those difficulties and challenges you've learned so much about yourself you've learned so much about your true identity you've lost things that no longer you identify yourself with if you really reflect on it and just reflect on the past like you have grown like you both have grown so much and this isn't over let's just say this is just kind of taking a break and you both are just kind of regaining your strength to come back together even stronger um and to build a better foundation that's based off honesty humility clear communication and just a genuine desire to know one another i think like that's your biggest thing it's like you both want to know one another but you're letting human egoic constructs of what society tells you relationship should be like and should act like and what you should do get in the way all that is dying by the way and it's honestly already falling falling off of you and you just are left with your soul you're just left with your true identity which is great because then you build from that and you know who you are and this person knows who they are and you can just be with each other without having to force anything you could just move towards a long relationship whatever that looks like it could be a friendship it could, whatever forget the label but just a really really soul a strong soul connection that you both help each other grow and expand which is why we're all here you both help each other become more of your true identity which is really really beautiful you both share you both have a beautiful connection honestly it has been very troublesome not gonna lie it has been difficult it has been painful but it is very beautiful because you both are growing you both are becoming your true selves remembering who you are and you both really do like each other and really do love each other obviously because you both are love but instead of forcing it to be something that may, may not be let's just let it be and let it have its own identity let it have its own oneness and wholeness and let it just do what it does because no matter what it's going to help you both it's going to change you both it's going to help you both grow and evolve and transform no matter what you what label you put on it and i feel like you both are starting to understand that it can't be labeled it can't be put in a box it can't be titled like that it just has to be and i feel like that's more difficult for you i mean i feel like it's difficult for you both but i feel like your person has a more difficult time with this you could have a difficult time with it but your person really does this a lot um but i feel like also again reflection you could do this a lot as well so that's something to sit with and be like do i do i really ask yourself do you really need this to be 
your life partner? Do you really need this person to be your life partner? And can this person be your life partner in another way? In a way that you weren't you weren't aware of, in a way that didn't that you weren't that you didn't realize could be like a like a like a really good friend like someone that you can just talk to and and because this person knows you because you both share the same light you both share the same vibration you both share the same frequency you both are the same and just allowing that to be and allowing you both to just be with enough be with one another because you both have gone through feel the same way have gone through the same things maybe just different in different ways but the same you both know what fear is you both know what love is you both know what hate is you both know what worry is you both know what what um the fear of commitment is you both know what abandonment is you both know what rejection is and just surrender that and accept that and allow that you don't have to hide that from each other you don't have to hide that from one another you can just be and allow that to and allow you and you both can transmute that and alchemize that in a way where you can build a foundation of like I'm in harmony with that I accept that within myself your person accept that within yourself let's just build off of that let's just talk let's just get to know one another let's just um just be honest and and be genuine and just get to know the more that you get to know one another the more that you get to know yourself can you just allow that to be the relationship and just give that room to grow and evolve um because i feel like that's definitely what's happening and with the sacral chakra i feel like there's a lot of maybe um like I want to say like tension or sexual tension sexual i don't know why i said i want to say sexual misconduct um there's been a lot of sexual aggression or sexual frustration or just something in the sex department that i don't know like maybe this is not meant to be a sexual relationship maybe that's something that you have to come to terms with maybe it's just meant to be again a soulful connection and you both just connect with each other on a soul level i'm i'm getting like strong friendship um but like it's deeper than friendship because i feel like friendship is not even like it's 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 not even doing this relationship justice because it's so powerful because it's like on a soul infinite level that we don't we can't even fathom with our minds right now um that's what I feel but I feel like you both want each other you both want to be in each other's lives but in the in a different way now um this is also like related the sacral chakra relates to like emotions desires creativity um nurturing yourself like you both are learning to nurture yourself and to just dance with life dance with yourself move with yourself move with the universe meditate um express yourself through creativity and not just through sex this could be something where you both just always expressed um yourselves through sex and not through other avenues like emotions um creativity dance meditation yoga nurturing yourselves like I, there's other avenues to this that hasn't been explored with this person let me just be honest and it because it's because it hasn't been explored within your relationship with yourself it's like there's always this like sexual stuff going on with yourself and with this person like because i feel like the sex is very strong and that is a way of like creativity and like expressing emotions and desires which is great but there's other things here that are very much more fulfilling much more fulfilling than you probably realize which is like creating art together dancing together doing different hobbies together meditating together practicing yoga together there's other ways to express your love for one another there's other ways to express sexuality without having sex there's other ways to express how you feel about each other without having sex and this is about like nurturing yourselves and just remembering that you matter and remembering that this person matters remembering and them remembering that you matter and that they themselves matter and building from the place that you both matter a lot to each other you both have a very strong bond with one another that's never going to break but it is going to be reconstructed it is going to be rebuilt in a different way and it's a being in universe is allowing this to happen because i feel like in a past life in this in this life there's a lot of karma there is a lot of it was built on a very very faulty foundation 
does it make it any less painful because i feel like it was a very strong faulty foundation and it took a lot for it to break down it's finally broken down it's finally like done and now you're both figuring out how to rebuild yourselves and because you're figuring out how to rebuild yourselves you are rebuilding this connection without even like seeing each other without even speaking to each other because you're rebuilding yourselves from a place of harmony from a place of peace from a place of light from your true identity from a place of like creativity and like i said not just sex because i feel like the sex has been overused in this relationship um and now it's time to just like i said explore other avenues of this so i i just i feel this was this was such a long reading but i feel this was so good and it just it i feel like if this resonates with you this will really help see things that you're on the right path or you're on the right track you are rebuilding this even when you are not speaking or talking to this person even if you block this person even if you feel like you never want to see this person again it's already being rebuilt in a better way and even if you can't see it now you will be able to see it later down the road it, it's okay that you can't see it now because you're maybe not meant to see it now because you're meant to focus on yourself you're meant to rebuild yourself now because now there's like no going back to the past like the past is done the karma is finished the disharmony that you felt with this person and you felt with yourself is done you're rebuilding yourself from like the ground up um and right now you're at the sacral chakra which is good so um yeah so that is what i see for you guys i'm gonna leave it here so i hope this helped i hope this resonated i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.